So this past SolidWorks World, we announced the release of two new offerings. We, we announced some others, but these are the ones I want to focus on today. SolidWorks Industrial Design, which is really geared to help you design complex organic shapes with ease. It combines freehand sketching, freeform, and traditional modeling in one powerful piece of software so you can try out lots of beautifully designed concepts quickly. Also, we uh, introduced kind of a, um, uh, we introduced SolidWorks Conceptual Design, which is all about testing lots of concepts quickly and proving them out before launching them into fully detailed design in SolidWorks. Its powers, its actually magic powers and uh, agility focuses on the early stages of design when you want to come up with and test many ideas before committing them to 3D. So let's quickly first take a look at SolidWorks Industrial Design to show you what it can do. So like with all offerings connected to the 3D Experience platform, SolidWorks Industrial Design offers the ability to collaborate with proximal and remote stakeholders, which is imperative to designing products in this global economy and staying connected to the people involved. So we have a request here. So you can see here, Neil made some kind of comment to Ben saying, hey, basically I'd like you to come up with some concept for this flower power project. And, um, uh, and then Ben Blair, of course, uh, obliges. So let's just begin the video. So since we have to get moving on this design, to access SolidWorks Industrial Design, you simply select it from the compass and you're off and running. It's really easy. Sketching in SolidWorks Industrial Design is better than pencil and paper because we have built-in algorithms to help smooth out your lines. So even if you're not a degreed artist or industrial designer, with SolidWorks Industrial Design sketching technology, it certainly will help you draw with great confidence. You can do this in various views. And again, just the point of this at this point of the stage is just to get some general envelope of the shape you'd like to have your your um, end result look like. So we can just, again, draw some lines out. And you just like pencil and paper, you can erase what you don't want to really get the general envelope that you are desiring. So you can take these hand sketches and actually convert them into parametric lines and then take those lines and create surfaces. One of the coolest things about SOLIDWORKS Industrial Design is your ability to actually sketch on the surfaces as though that was like a piece of sheet metal in real life. So you can draw on the surfaces to really create the shapes that you want and then once you hide that surface you'll actually see that we have a really good, really good general wireframe hand sketch shape of the end result that we want. Then we can bring in a sub-D body and just like with um, just with the use of the robot, which is a little thing that you can push and pull the nodes, you can get this shape to look exactly the way you want, just with pushing and pulling. You know, you want to make um, a sharp crease. Again, just a, a quick push and pull, some uh, some a couple uh, clicks of the mouse, and you're off and running. Again, really easy to do this, and the idea is to really get the shapes to look the way that you want without really having to worry about a lot of CAD overhead and product structure. Um, Again, the, the beauty of SOLIDWORKS Industrial Design is the ability to branch and you can also, again, because you want the end result to just look like what you have in your mind and what you kind of sketched out, we give you the ability to kind of branch out into different concepts and also to merge two concepts that have features that you really want. But again, the goal is to give you a quick and easy way to reflect the ideas that you're trying to model here. Just a few more little, I guess, modifications are making. And, 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 and the other thing I'd like to say here is that this is all very intuitive and easy. You know, pushing and, uh, and mirroring things is also very easy. And again, you can then take your, your, your plane here and make a cut again to get the shape exactly the way you want it. We want to give you that flexibility and freedom. And again, really quickly and easy so that you can then take a concept. It took just a minute here. Take your concept. You design it. You can make a comment and share with your, your, um, the people in the design community, hey, this is the concept we have. You can take a quick uh, screenshot, and so that everyone, no matter where they are, 24-7 on any device, can see exactly where you're going with your designs. So that's basically SOLIDWORKS Industrial Design. Fantastic.